Graphics card prices might still suck, but there's a silver lining because CPU prices have absolutely collapsed. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So there I was on the internet looking for some 4th of July sales to see if I could find you guys some good GPU deals and what do you know, I couldn't surprise to nobody, but I did as per usual find some actually really great deals on CPUs. So let's take a look starting off with the most expensive, the 7800X 3D. Yes, you can get the 9800X 3D and it's a bit cheaper than usual, but it's not a massive deal. This is actually a pretty good deal coming in at $369.97 cents down from the $449 it launched at. If that doesn't have you trampling over your grandmother to grab her credit card and throw it at your monitor, I don't know what will, but in all seriousness, this is actually a pretty good deal and is the lowest that I have personally recalled seeing it. And to get an eight core Ryzen CPU that you can throw on a modern platform with the 3D cache for what's gonna be potentially the second fastest CPU money can buy, well, actually, I think that's a pretty good price, especially when you consider how expensive graphics cards are getting these days. That's quite a deal, but it only gets better. But wait, there's more because the next one is the Ryzen 7 9700X. This is also an eight core 16 thread processor, except for this one is using AMD's latest micro architecture. It's one generation newer than the 7800X 3D. However, it isn't using X3D cache, so there is gonna be a bit of a trade-off. You might get a little bit better gaming performance in the 7800X 3D, but a little bit better multi-core on this one, and it's down from the $359 to $314.98. Also, I'd say pretty good deal but it keeps getting better. Next up, we have the Intel Core Ultra 7. Uh-oh, sound the alarms and start arguing in the comments as to why it is or isn't garbage. In any case, I think for the price, this is actually a really excellent CPU. $293.99 is 27% off from its $404 list price. And honestly, that's the lowest I recall seeing it. If you are interested in upgrading in your CPUs today, by the way, I will have affiliate links in the description below for your convenience. And of course, my benefit, daddy has got to eat. But the reason why I think this is good is because if you do some overclocking on these chips, they do get way, way faster in gaming. And a lot of motherboards will actually have like a one click overclocking button that'll get you most of the way there. And it has 20 cores, 8P cores plus 12E cores. That's a whole lot of multi-core performance for honestly a cheaper price than even the eight cores we are looking at from AMD. But now we have the Intel Core 12700KF. This is the gift that keeps on giving. I don't know why, but year after year, this thing remains in stock. Here it is, 8P plus 4E cores. It's still honestly, I'd say a pretty good gaming CPU. Honestly, if you overclock this thing, it can be up there with a Core Ultra today or even faster than some Core Ultra processors. So this has really aged well in my opinion. And you're getting a lot of multi-core performance for just $179.97. You know, look, I'm not seeing a massive deal on this one, but this is probably the lowest I recall seeing it in recent history. Next, we have the Ryzen 5 9600X, and this is gonna be a little bit less multi-core performance. Uh-oh, six cores, can you believe it? But it's 12 threads, and it's on AMD's latest microarchitecture. It's gonna give you excellent gaming performance and even pretty decent multi-core performance for just $174.99. It's 37% off. It's time to start panicking. Next, we have the AMD Ryzen 5800 XT. This is kind of like a recent rebrand of an older CPU. It's still eight cores, 16 threads. It's still good if you're on something like first or second gen Ryzen. This could certainly be a pretty good upgrade for you. It's just 159 bucks. 36% off from its 249 list price. Then we have the 5600, basically a six core variant coming in at $139.99, 30% off from the 199 it was listed at. Then we have the Intel Core i5 12600KF. Once again, the gift that keeps on giving down to just $128.97, 12th gen will never die. This is such a great price for honestly a really good 6P core plus four E core type of design here. 
that's gonna be, if, again, if you're on kind of like first or second gen Ryzen, this is gonna be a huge upgrade for you and it's very, very affordable. And then finally, we have the Ryzen 5 5500, six core, 12 thread CPU, and it does come with a Wraith Stealth cooler. So this is basically everything you need. And it is just, it, this is 48% off. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys other than if you're on an older CPU, now's the time to buy, I'd say $83.08. This will play any game you throw at it. Will it get 500 frames per second? Probably not, but it's a pretty modern six core, 12 thread CPU. It's really not gonna get any better than that. In fact, this is probably the craziest deal I've seen on a CPU maybe ever. So if there's one CPU that you should maybe buy if you're on an older CPU platform right now, this would definitely be it if you're on a super tight budget. But there you have it, guys. There's the best deals that I've seen on CPUs this year. I mean, 48% drop in price. That is an absolute collapse in CPU pricing. And there's a lot of options on the market today. Again, I'll have affiliate links in the description below that give you some really, really crazy deals. If you're looking to upgrade something right now, I would say wait on the GPUs for maybe RTX 50 Super or maybe AMD's next generation GPUs. And in the meantime, now's a great time to upgrade your CPU platform as CPUs and motherboards and RAM are all very, very affordable making it an excellent time to refresh your system. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think it's a good time to buy a new CPU or do you think you should still wait on that as well? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.